Quentin Mayo. Uh, Quentin, appreciate you joining us, my man. Kenny just laid out some picks for the college football weekend. I want to ask you, if you're just starting to dip your toes in the water of, of, of sports betting, what, what's the best sport that, that, could really, uh, that, 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 that you could really get the hang of quickly? Oh, it's got to be college football. I think I think it's a clear cut college football. But now, if you if you're not a huge college football fan and you want to maybe uh, have a more consumable product, which is the NFL, more teams that you you kind of know who the guys are, and you don't have to go watch I don't know Army versus Georgia State, which I'll be doing this weekend. See? Then the NFL is probably the, <laughs> the place for you. Um, you know, bigger names and uh, just more familiarity. But I think there's way more value in college football. I think you you get more winners that way because there's, there are so many games. So if you do your research and your due diligence or listen to some sharp people, some smart people that know uh, mm-hmm. some picks, then you can really make some money in college football. Yesterday, I should have went 4-0. Uh, UCF got off to a slow start yesterday. Uh, coach Malzone and former Auburn head coach uh, had to rally the boys at halftime, but I still went 3-1, and one, walked away with a lot of big money, and then we're heading to the weekend, you know, looking to, to make more money. So college football is where it's at. A lot of value, but if you, if you want some more, uh, some, some easier guys to track and you don't have to go to – watch the game on ESPN, Ocho, or uh, I don't know, uh, Disney Plus, then uh, probably stay away from college football. Yeah. And, and shout out to Quentin because last week he confirmed what I was what I was uh, feeling with that Fresno State thing, and the Bulldogs came through, did what they had to do against UConn. So shout out to Quentin. But um, oh, absolutely, man, we felt really good about that. That was that was over before it was started. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But I agree with you though. With um, which is easier to bet in in my opinion. That's probably why I'm so excited about college football because I feel like. All of this is is gambling, you know, in the true literal sense, right? Like you're not gonna they they build casinos off of people like myself, right? In Las Vegas, I get it, but in the NFL, it seems like there's a lot more randomness that happens in the NFL than it does in college football. Have you seen that to be true, or is it is it just kind of figment figment of my imagination? Um, I I I want to say so. Uh, I think the the part about college football that's maybe a little more random for me is kind of like the garbage time scores down mm. the stretch like of yeah. games. I think that that's what kind of throws college football through a loop for me. I mean, you could be sitting pretty all day long. Like, let's say last night, Tennessee at one point, or Tennessee opened up as a 37-point favorite. Um, I can't even remember who Tennessee played, actually. They played some scrub team, no offense. But uh, <laughs> they, they, they were a 37-point favorite. And they ended up, you know, being really close. I think they, they won 38-6 to six last night. They played mm-hmm. bowling green. Like, and, and there's just something like that to where, you know, they could go the entire game and be up. But, you know, in the last, you know, 10 minutes or so, they, they take their foot off the ghetto, step to the pass. Oh, my gosh. They take their foot <laughs> off of the gas pedal. There we go. And, um, <laughs> and a lot of, I feel like there's a lot more backdoor coverage that way. Yeah. The NFL, um, you know, those guys just seem a little more in Invested in terms of their 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 principles and their foundation, their fundamentals. I mm-hmm. think in college football, those guys are just a little younger, so they allow more time, more big time plays out of the stretch. But in any event, you know both sports are still very uh, very hard to handicap. Anything can happen. Like you said, this is a, just an unpredictable game that we are playing. But I would probably lean college football in terms of uh, a, a game that's just a little more unpredictable than uh, the NFL. Got you. Tennessee's bugging out here, and you talk about a game they're in, and they're not the scrub team involved. That's a that's a wild experience <laughs> wow. for them. Shots. That's an absolutely wild experience for them. Do you bet on the Do you bet on the big games? Like uh, K- Casey was talking about, like Clemson, Georgia. Do you you get in on those? Oh, oh, absolutely. Like this 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 is what you bet on all the little games for. So you can sit back and watch the big game and have some stake, get some money on the line. Um, that Clemson Georgia game, I have been. I've done at least 17 radio hits this week, and everybody's asking my pick. Mm-hmm. I, I still have not selected a side because I think these teams are, are really kind of closer than a, than a lot of people want to give credit for. Now, we know Clemson is so talented um, all over the place, and, of course, they're the three-point favorites in this game. But something is telling me that you know, Georgia's going to come in here and, and muck this thing up. I mean, the play that I've already made in this game is on the under. I took the under of uh, 51.5 mm-hmm. is the number that I got it at right now. Mm-hmm. I've to see that bet MGM is 50 and a half, uh, minus 110 value. But Clemson returned almost everybody on defense, and that defense ranked 15th in the nation with 327 yards allowed per game last year. Georgia was even better. They only allowed 321 yards per game. They were 12th in the nation. I think it's going to be a defensive slugfest. And, and especially if you look at some of these games already, these offenses all over college football have to knock off the rush. Some of these yeah. guys didn't play spring football. You know, some teams did. I mean, even if you – 
you take that into account. I mean, we saw Jacksonville State versus UAB, which, you know, I was actually betting on that game. It's a little sad because that game was uh, pretty much over before it started as well. But, um, you know, Jacksonville State had a full spring schedule. They played a lot of games more recently than not, and they went out there and got just hammered. Like, it didn't even look like they hadn't played a game since 1978. So that's that's something that we have to do is kind of bring into account that these teams haven't played a lot of football and also just your day-to-day preparation for a game because of COVID. So, I mean, sometimes you have to go to Zoom meetings. You can't work out with your entire team. Too many guys in the weight room. Uh, where do you eat? Do you eat with the guys? Travel. All that is just so different now. Yeah. It's hard to handicap, and it just adds another wrinkle to the to the game. But I will say I'm probably going to lean Georgia uh, on at plus mm. 130 value to win mm. this game against Clemson. That's a little lean for me. I know everybody is on Clemson, but Georgia's offense has looked much better with Daniels late in the season last year. I think they return even more production than Clemson on the offensive side of the ball, which is really what matters early in the year is how can your offense, how fast can your offense get going? And I think both defenses will be incredible. I'm going to have to go with Georgia here. I'm not going to take them on the money line. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to take them on the money line, not to cover the spread, just plus 130 odds for them to win outright. And also I'm on the under. Hopefully, hopefully uh, that, that is uh, advantageous for my pockets this weekend. I, I like I like the under the more that you talk about it. You convince me right here on the game. I, I, I went with Clemson. I was my number one pick. I went Clemson. Yeah. Uh, I had him at three and a half, so I'm going with that. Let me let me get a, real quick a couple other ones that I had as well. I got uh, North Carolina tonight at five and a half. I'm going with them. I'm going with Iowa minus three over Indiana. And then the one that I didn't pull the trigger on, but I want to hear what you guys think about this. Oklahoma, 31 and a half. Spencer Rattler, I, I think they're just going to unload on Tulane uh, tomorrow. Man, I, I like that Oklahoma pick a lot. Uh, Spencer Rattler is the real deal, man. I, and a lot of people, I mean, of course, he, he's getting respect uh, in the Heisman odds. I mean, he's the favorite to win the Heisman this year. But, man, I, I really like that pick. Tulane, I, I mean, it's Tulane. I don't think we have to worry much about that. <laughs> the night game against Virginia Tech in uh, North Carolina, I'm really on the fence about that because I kind of want to take Virginia Tech uh, to mm. cover five and a half. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't know if I have a great read on it. Uh, the Hokies, I think they look a little more inspired, uh, you know, a little more inspired performance on defense this year. They gave them 56 points uh, back when these two teams faced off, uh, was that October 10th, I believe, in 2020. Um, mm. Sam Howe has been remarkable uh, against Virginia Tech in his short college career, though. I mean, in just two games uh, versus the Hokies, 605 yards. Eight touchdowns, no interceptions. Mm. So if you are going to go North Carolina, then I mean that—that's a reason to do so. However, I think North Carolina—they're they're still retooling that offense, and how it comes to this game with some question marks at the skill position. I mean, you could be a great quarterback, but if you're going to have anybody to throw the ball to, that's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge, especially if the Hokies can get some sort of pass rush. And they have the defensive edge. Uh, Virginia Tech does in this matchup. Uh, they're opening season in Blacksburg. I think it's going to be crazy to see some fans there. I mean, it's going to be yeah. a, a true ACC battle. Uh, we Virginia Tech. Ooh. Ooh. They cover five and a half. Not to win, but they cover okay. five and a half. Okay. Yeah. I smell what you're cooking. I smell what you're cooking. Man. <laughs> right. Q, we appreciate you, Brody. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next week. Take care, Quinn. Thank you so much, fellas.